with me right now, Gene Casaras, legal correspondent in session. Gene, he started off with a bang. First thing, what happened? Well, he showed a picture of Jody and her sister and talked about that in a conversation with Travis, which the jury has heard and heard again today, that she said her sister was dumb and stupid. And then he says, isn't that a double standard right there? You're laughing about your own sister, but you don't say anything against Travis. You know, uh, she, she was repeatedly asked about her memory, and I think that is is critical, Jean, because when you get up to the self-defense portion of her story, she forgets everything. And I've been analyzing it overnight and really line by line. For instance, everything she said was aimed at tailoring her story to the forensic evidence. And in fact, she said that she did just that when she was talking to Detective Flores. But when she said that Travis Alexander got down like a linebacker and came at her, at her, clearly that was to explain the fact that the bullet went from up to down. That would put him beneath her. Uh, the only problem with her doing that, uh, Jean, is that at that close range, of shooting at that close range, there would have been stippling or gunshot residue on his face at the entry wound. The trajectory path went up, down and the bullet lodged right here in his left cheek. So everything she says is aimed to respond to the forensic evidence. But I found it very interesting. Her demeanor changed. The she-devil showed itself on cross-examination. Describe what happened, Jean. Well, let me t let's put it this way. On the direct examination, when there would be an objection by the prosecution, she would say, I apologize. I apologize. Her defense attorney would even have to say, you don't have to apologize, Jody. Today, she was strong, tough, confident, and even had a smile on her face as she tried to take control of the prosecutor.